This video looks at the best submissions from the 2024 Portugal Grand Prix in the women's divisions and to sum it all up in one word it would be Armageddon because there were plenty of arm locks in this tournament and no one did it better than the gold medal winner in the 52 kilo category Keldiarova of Uzbekistan and one of the most notable things from this tournament was the amount of gold medalists that won with submissions during their run. Let's have a look at how Buttigieg of France claimed her bronze medal. She grabbed a hold of the end of the lever and went directly to Juji Gatame. Next up we'll have a look at Lucy Renchel of Great Britain known for her Ushiro Sankaku. But notice how quickly she's able to latch on to the arm from this Sankaku position finish her opponent very quickly and she also had a submission win in the semi-finals fairly unusual to see a Georgian woman get to the semi-final stage in this division now Oleg from Germany on her way to winning gold was able to submit the Japanese university champion Chihiro Inaba in the super heavyweight division the champion was Oz Turk who applied Waki Gatame, one of her special techniques. 48 kilo champion Hikari Yoshioka of Japan showed an excellent combination. Okuri Ashiharai, then after looking for the butterfly guard sweep, she transitioned to Juji Gatame as her opponent tried to back away and flatten herself out. And here is a different way you can get the arm from the butterfly guard turnover attempt. So in this instance we're going to see the Bulgarian judoka go for her opponent's far arm. She tries to sweep her. When her opponent resists, she transitions to Ude Gatame, the reverse arm lock. Pup of Hungary. We saw her in the very opening clip lose by submission to Keldiarova. But she did have two submission wins of her own on her route to winning the silver medal. We'll see the other one at the end of this video. That was Sode Garuma Jimmy. And the Great Britain judo team put on a show in Newaza. Here is a nice Juji Gatame from Katie Jemima Yeats Brown. We'll see more from the Great Britain team later on. But first we'll have a look at fantastic arm lock from a Sankaku by Galatskaya. So her opponents blocked her attempt to get Osai Komi by catching her in guard. So she extends the arm and gets a quick submission. We don't see Sankaku Jime much in the 48 kilo class these days now that Mumpfat has retired. But when we do see it, we don't usually see anybody applying it any better than Rishoni. And she does well here. Her opponent initially blocks the foot but isn't able to get her arm out. And after making some adjustments, Rishoni is able to finally lock up the Sankaku. Because the 48 kilo players have very short legs, if they are able to lock up that Sankaku, it usually is very tight and she's slowly able to force her opponent to turn and then her opponent submits quite quickly once she finds herself on her back. And here's a nice combination very reminiscent of what we saw from Keldiarova earlier in this video. Here is another of the Great Britain judo team members that was successful in Newaza. It's Natalie Powell. So we're gonna see very old school choke here. She's got the right hand on her opponent's collar, grabs on the lapel with her left hand, and pulls it down. You can see by her opponent's reaction, this old school technique is still gonna work in 2024. Next up, we have Emma Reed. She pulled off a really interesting submission here. So she locks a Sankaku, but rather than locking over her opponent's shoulder and one arm, she traps both arms, but locks one arm up 
by locking over the shoulder and then from there she's able to transition to an arm lock. So IGF ruled that as uh, Sankaku Gatame. Let me know if you think that was the correct term for it. And here's Emma Reed again with another Juji Gatame. So the Great Britain Judo team was certainly the Great Nawaza team of this tournament. This is their fifth submission to make this video. Velozzi of France made a very nice attempt in Newaza here. Initially it went for the choke, but the lapel was up over her opponent's chin, so she released it. She didn't want that mate call. And the good thing about Velozzi's Newaza here is she keeps transitioning. Here her opponent's very defensive, but Velozzi keeps transitioning, looking for new ways to attack. So the referee allows the Niwaza time to continue. So her opponent defends one way. Velozzi steps around. Finally, she was in a position where she was able to escape the trapped right leg. And then she transitioned to Juji Gatame. Her opponent attempted to stand, but she wasn't able to lift her off the ground to force the mate call. She rolled her onto her back and finally got down to the end of the leather, locked up her opponent's arms with both legs, and then submitted her. So we'll finish up with Pop Rekka. We saw a Sode Garuma Jime from her earlier, where she was able to turn her opponent. In this case, her opponent submitted without being turned. There's only a few seconds left in this match, and she was already up by a Waza Ari. So I think her opponent didn't want to put in too much energy to resist this one, as she had a bronze medal bout to look forward to.